Hello and welcome to Under the Big Mango Tree. Today we're in for a little bit different of a video. We're going to be doing a relaxing piece, so go and get your art supplies, whether it's pencil crayons, acrylic paint, gouache, watercolor, and paint along with me. So today I got some very cheap art supplies from Walmart, nothing too expensive. I think each tube cost like $2.99 and then the canvases came in a pack for like five something. The brushes cost like five dollars. Very cheap and a, some paper plates. Very cheap art supplies so it won't run you a lot of money. So yeah, just follow along with this video and let's do some relaxing painting. Every time I get a new paintbrush, I like to flick them a little bit and rinse them with like, some water because they have glue that helps them keep their shape. So I like to get that out first before I start using them. We're going to be drawing a scene from Spongebob because I felt like Spongebob today and I thought it would be easy but I was so wrong. I don't know. Acrylic is not my medium of choice so I try my best with these colors. And I still think in the end it came out pretty nice, but still it was a trial. <laughs> So the title of the video today is Everyone Can Act and the reason I came up with this title is because recently Kim Kardashian posted up a video, well a picture of her daughter's art piece and everyone was stunned including me and I was stunned not because I didn't know that little kids can be amazing painters but because it was Kim Kardashian and we know the Kardashians track record right? So it wasn't too far fetched to believe that not Wes actually did the painting. And uh, after seeing uh, the a girl from TikTok saying that her mom taught her how to do taught not Wes and her friend how to do this painting, and seeing the girl paint something similar to it, and uh, seeing Kanye West as um, drawing art pieces and stuff like that, it's not too far fetched, really and truly, but what i would like to say is really anybody can draw we think that uh, seeing the picture we think it was so complex and what's not no anybody could really do that with the proper guidance and that's what an artist like bob ross set out to do was teach people how to have fun while drawing all we see in a lot of art pieces are the final um piece we don't see the process and the time that uh, had to go through that piece and what I would like uh, us to do is stop thinking that art is, uh, is simply just a gift you have. No, it's not that all the time because even people with just a knack for it still have to practice or they could lose it. You still have to do it every single day or you get rusty, you know what I mean? It's like riding a bike. If you haven't rode a bike in years, when you first get back on it, it feels like you're riding it for the first time and it takes a couple of tries for you to actually get back into the swing of it. And if you're a person who thinks you're not at inclined, um, have you taken up a pencil and actually draw, like not a stick figure, but actually draw, let's just say an apple, something that is right in front of you, like try to get the values and stuff like that. Art is something you have to learn as well. It's not something you just simply do. You can simply do it, but if you want to get good, you have to learn the fundamentals as well. So it was not too far fetched to see that, to know that Northwest actually did this piece. 
like with social media you see all these amazing drawings and digital and traditional pieces but uh, you don't see the process well most of the time you don't see the process that goes into it you don't see the years of work that is behind it and uh, that's why people think that doing art is so impossible no it's not uh, it really isn't a lot of us could uh, easily become artists if we really wanted to but because we think it's such a feat or because we think we need to have talent is why we stop ourselves from doing certain things and that is simply not the case for instance look at this piece that I'm painting right now I do not like acrylic paint acrylic paint is not my medium of choice I don't really know how to work it like that I had a very difficult time with this piece but you just have to trust the process in the end it turned out real nice but uh, while going through it it was uh, awful because uh, watercolor is my medium of choice I swear by it watercolor and pencil crayons so while doing this I treated the acrylic paint like watercolors in some instances and uh, it came sometimes it came out blotchy some it didn't blend as well as watercolors but did i give them no you do things over and over and over again until you get better at it and this is just the first piece that i made with acrylics i plan to make many more i have these uh, huge tubes of acrylics i'm not gonna make let it go to waste so what you have to do is stop limiting your beliefs if you are a person who always wanted to get into arts and crafts and uh, you just think it's impossible what i want you to know is that it's not pick your medium pick your art of choice and do some research and start practicing start doing it that's it it's really not that hard hey I want to learn how to draw people take up some take up a, take a pencil some cheap copy paper and uh, draw take a picture reference and draw what you see it might not turn out the way it looks in the fr at first promise me it's not gonna but uh, a couple of times repeating the same reference eventually it will look like the person because practice makes perfect and if you want a little bit more guidance there's a lot of resources out there that can help you stuff like youtube skillshare i think they have udemy all these different resources that can help you advance in art and stuff that you want to do you could even take like personal classes like not data to get better at art but what I would like to say is just because you think you can't do something doesn't mean that uh, somebody else cannot do it. Stop putting your limited beliefs on to people. If I was Kim Kardashian, I would have never addressed uh, what people said about my daughter. I know what my daughter did. I know that she's an amazing artist. She got it from her daddy. And I would have left it from that, left it at that. If you don't believe she did it, that's fine. I have the painting to prove. I have the money to prove that she went to these classes and did an amazing job. I would have not said anything. What I want people to take from this is to know that uh, art is not that difficult. Art is not that difficult. If you really wanted to get into it, you can. You can. And you will see that... Uh, being creative and creating stuff is not as hard as we make it seem. Everybody can draw. Everybody can do art. In the end, I thought this piece turned out very nice, to tell the honest truth. I didn't get all the colors that I would like and it still looked patchy up close but once you step away from it it looks beautiful that is what I was getting towards it looks absolutely stunning far away so thank you for watching my videos I hope to see you guys at the next one I have a surprise video coming for you guys 
um and yeah i hope everybody have a nice little valentine's day i don't celebrate valentine's day but i hope you guys enjoy it if you do whether you're whether you have a significant other or you solo enjoy the day it doesn't matter and yes this is what i mean it looks absolutely amazing from far away and that's my handsome squidward piece that i did um, with oil paints and these are some of my other pieces that i did last semester at my college some master studies and then that one with the girl is what i did on my own but I would like to say thank you for watching my video. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm at 42 subscribers. Thank you. I know it's not a lot, but I'm grateful for it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.